Good morning brothers, another beautiful morning here in Tasman and second day of the Bro Check Club. A very short video, an open letter to you Matthew, Matthew and Hamilton who contacted me this morning saying Clay, I am someone who's really behind what you're doing with this new Bro Check Club. I suffer from clinical depression, I'm open to talking about it, or whatever, I'm not quite sure how he stated his letter, but Matthew, you're watching this right now, so you know what you said. Right, we'll kick it in the guts, what's it about? Well, mate, that's what, excuse the coffee machine, that's what we need, is we need men like you, men that step up and say, I've got this challenge, doesn't matter what challenge it is, could be challenge of diabetes type 2, could be challenge of cancer, could be schizophrenia, could be any sort of type of illness. Whether it's mental, emotional, physical, psychological, doesn't really matter, it's a struggle. Suicide is something that has become to the forefront of my thinking, uh, particularly recently since we lost Smash. And none of us are immune to not getting at a point where in our lives we think about taking it. And I'll be open about my own struggle with cancer. I had, two years ago, had horrific pain in my testicles. You laugh about it, testicles, funny, isn't it? When I told, I was telling a couple of blokes that they're uncomfortable, and it is uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable to talk about. But until we talk about the uncomfortable things in life, we don't get to expose them, we don't get to dig them up, we don't get to sort them out. That's how it rolls. So yeah, I was at a place where, had I had my Magnum 44 with me, I would have stuck one at the spout and would have blown my head off and I wouldn't be talking to you right now. So I understand about what it's like to be in such a painful place in life where living is actually harder than dying. However, I was in such a bad place and I was so crippled with pain I couldn't move thank god for that because I fucking love life and I'm still here but I would have I know that myself the pain was through the roof I'd pass out unconscious and wake up and I'd be in that same pain again it's like waking up and howl every part of my body to the point that the nurse thought I was going to have a heart attack and die because my heart was going over 200 anyway that's that's my shit and that's not what this is about this is actually an open letter to you Matthew what I need from you and this is what I need from all of you men that have jumped on board this because I can't run this I've got too much of my own life going, but I want to put it in place before I, I check out of this world or check out of whatever I'm doing. What I want from you, Matthew, is I want you to make a video where you're looking at the camera like I am now. That's landscape styles, not profile styles like that, landscape styles, so we can put it up on the channel. It's just a short video on how you manage clinical depression. Look straight in the camera, mate, and give us all the points. Now, not suffering it myself, but knowing a lot of men that do and talking openly with a lot of men that do, I've learned a few tricks over the years and things that I have said that have helped, but you'll be able to add a lot more to it because you've walked the walk and you'll be able to talk the talk. Things that I know that have helped have been, change of diet's a big one, commercial fisherman Salwin, who's one of my big supporters and just an outright good bastard, he uh, used to suffer from anxiety. Used to, used to have clinical depression. The keto diet changed him. And diet has a lot to do with how we feel, but it's not just diet. It's dealing with emotional past events. It's getting right sleep. It's getting good exercise. Exercise is ab absolutely paramount if you suffer depression. A daily regime of 20 minutes of cardio in the morning will make a big difference, as will a cold shower. Not fun, but you've got to fight the good battle if you're going to beat the, beat the bastard, you know? So there's a whole lot of other things too which I could go on about but I won't because I'm not really qualified. This channel is about men helping men. It's about brothers helping brothers. And I cannot do it by myself. I'm running my own YouTube channel, Play Tall Stories, plus looking after people in my community and my own family and myself. And so what I need is I need you guys to step up and say, yes, Clay, I'm on board. And that could be anything from making a video like this to sharing with brothers what works for you. So think about this. And all I need is just a two, three minute video. It doesn't have to be that long or as long as it takes you to say it. Try to keep your ums and your ahs and your you knows out of it. Those are the three things that seem to crop up in videos a lot that no one wants to listen to. And do your best. And it's not about you anyway. It's about you helping a brother. So put yourself aside, put your ego aside, put all the things aside that you're worried about how you might come across. Fuck that. It's not about you. It's about you helping somebody else. So Matthew, please make me a video. If you find it too difficult, I understand, but give it your best shot, mate. This is the best way I could think to answer your email this morning where you said you want to help. 
I can put it out and sell it to you, but at the same time, other people in similar situation to you with their own battles that have learnt ways to manage their battles can share stuff. I could share a lot about my, my battle with cancer and how I've I've kept positive throughout the whole thing, how I've kept positive through my girlfriend pretty much turning her back on me, how I've kept positive with losing all the muscle mass, how I've kept positive with all of the losses, the physical losses, incontinence, rectal dysfunction, all the things that make a man feel like shit. Small penis syndrome, the rest of it, I could go on and on. And I am positive, and that's because if I've got two or three years left to live, it's fucking pointless making that last two or three years a horrible two or three years. And you can put the same, or apply at least the same theory to your own struggles, whatever they are. Think of it in terms of how much life we have. There's an hourglass, turn upside down, watch the sands fall. You will never get that time back. Time is the most precious thing we have. Let's try to keep it as good as we can for ourselves and our brothers around us by sharing this. Okay, I'll sign off. Matthew, looking forward to receiving it. You can send it uh, either on YouTube like I'm doing, put an unlisted video, or you can pop it in the Clay Tool Stories Gmail account. That's it, claytoolstories at gmail.com. I'm using that account for now because I still don't have an email set up for this new channel, but I will. Actually, I probably do have one, actually. Uh, I just don't know how it works, but I'll figure that out. I'm a bit of a dumb cunt when it comes to technology, but I will figure this out. But I'm also going to need the help of a lot of you men. Take it easy, buddy. Looking forward to your email with the video in it. And thank you for your help. We all appreciate your work. See you later.